This is Taylor from Nuts and Bolts Speed Training with some PowerPoint tips to help you make happy hour. How to make your presentations awesome, part one, moving beyond the defaults. And here in PowerPoint, I have a basic three-step process you can use in just about any presentation. But as it is, it immediately screams default formatting. And it's true. All I've done is, from the shapes gallery, grab some objects, draw them on my slide, and other than format the text a little bit, I haven't really done much. And seriously, if you use this slide as is, over one billion people in the world, which is the number of people with Microsoft Office, will immediately know that you're lazy. So if you use this, you'd better hope your content is world-class amazing. So tip number one for how to make your presentations awesome is to never settle for default formatting. And just a little bit of effort can make a world of a difference. And let me quickly show you what I mean. I'll hit Control Shift D to duplicate the slide, and on the new slide, holding Shift, I'll select my three rectangles, change the font color to black, change the shape fill to white, change the shape outline to black, and change the shape outline weight to half point. And just to add a little bit of color, I'll hit Escape, holding Shift, grab the two arrows, and fill them with a nice dark blue, nothing too fancy, a black outline, and also make the outline weight half point and hit escape. Now to give the slide a purpose, I'll select the last rectangle here in the sequence where we want to be and from the drawing tools format tab, give it a nice light gray fill color and hit escape. And here's a pro tip for working with colors to help make your layouts look more professional. With the last rectangle filled light gray, holding shift, I'll select all three rectangles. And then from the drawing tools format tab and the shape outline tool, I'll select a darker color of the fill color that I just used for all the outlines and hit Shift F5. And there you go. With just a little bit of effort, I've taken a boring default looking slide and made it look pretty good. And you can see that the darker outline color of the shape fill gives the whole slide a nice little extra professional polish. Now looking at the slide, we have one more default that we want to change. So take a hard look and see if you can guess what it is. Any guesses? Well, it's the bullets. And although this might seem like a minor detail, just look at those circular bullets. That's as default of a bullet style as you're ever gonna get. So in my presentations, I never settle for these either. And let me quickly show you what I use. Select the first block of text, and to speed this up, I'll use my keyboard, Alt-H-U for bullets. And I always use these square bullets. And I'll quickly apply them, Control-Y to redo, Control-Y to redo. I'm also gonna change the default bullet spacing so the top of the arrow is in between the first two tick marks and then just inverse the operation, Control Y to redo, Control Y to redo, and hit Shift F5. So this is now my non-default looking slide. And if I flip back to the previous one, this is where we started and with just a few extra clicks, this is where we ended up. And when I say never settle for the defaults, this rule applies to everything in PowerPoint. So for example, here's what a lot of tables out there in the world look like the default option. Well, here's what those same tables look like with just a little extra formatting applied. I didn't do much, but they definitely don't look default. And here's another example, a standard default chart showing company sales growth. And if you've ever seen a lot of investor decks, you've definitely seen a lot of these and yawned. Well, here's what that same chart looks like with some formatting applied. Again, not very much, but a far cry from default. So that's tip number one for how to make your presentations awesome. Never settle for default formatting. And remember, just a little bit of effort can make a world of a difference. Now tip number two is never settle for quick style formatting. One click formatting solutions are just as bad as the defaults. So for example, here's a nice table and box layout that you can use to highlight two pieces of any table. And to format the table, I simply apply to quick style. And I'm sure you could recreate the formatting in a heartbeat because that's how long it took me to format it. I simply selected the table, and then from the Table Tools Design tab, open the Table Styles and made a selection. Now in my book, simply using any one of these one-click formatting solutions is just as bad as using the default formatting. So what you want to do is, and this especially applies to tables as they're often a pain to format, is use a quick style to get you closer to what you want, but from there, you have to make the formatting your own. And again, just a little bit of effort can make a world of a difference. Now my go-to table design is I like to use these gray banded rows, so I'll select it. And then from here, I'll select my table, make it my own by making a half point outline weight, apply it all the way around my table. I'll select the top row, apply the outline again, 
I'll then change the fill color to black to match my boxes there on the right. I'll change the font color to white. I'll hit Control B to unbold the font and hit Shift F5. And there you go. I used the quick style formatting to get my gray banded rows and then I made the formatting my own. So remember, to make your presentations awesome, never settle for quick style formatting. Now to reward you for making it this far in the video, here's a bonus tip to help you make it to happy hour. And that is, let PowerPoint do the heavy lifting for you. So for example, I wanna make two additional adjustments to my table. Number one, I wanna highlight the total row there at the bottom. And number two, I wanna inverse the banding of the rows. Now instead of going to town and making these adjustments manually, I'll first double check if PowerPoint can do the heavy lifting for me. So I'll select the table, and from the Table Tools Design tab, notice that I have a bunch of formatting options here on the left. So if I want a total, I'll just select total, and there you go. Now if you don't like the formatting that PowerPoint gives you, you can always format away from it. But as a first cut, it's not bad. Now what about inversing the row banding? Now although I don't have a toggle button here on the left to inverse the banding, because I formatted the title row myself, I can simply toggle the header row on and off to inverse the banding of my rows. And again, toggling this on and off is super easy. Manually coloring each individual row myself is time intensive and painful, especially if I later change my mind. So remember, if you wanna make it to happy hour, let PowerPoint do the heavy lifting for you. So those are some great tips, tricks, and a bunch of examples that you can immediately use to move beyond the defaults and make your presentations look awesome. If you found this video helpful, let us know in the comments down below. And also, make sure you check out our website and subscribe so that you're up to date with our latest strategies and techniques. This is Taylor from Nuts and Bolts Speed Training, and I'll see you at happy hour.